thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss errors and approximations. Number two, the height of a cone is exactly 12 centimeters. Calculate the percentage error in the volume if the radius is 7 centimeters correct to the nearest centimeter. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with friends. So we're going to have, uh, first of all, the volume of a cone is usually given by a third pi r squared h. Now that we given the dimensions, the others are constants. The radius is given and uh, the height is also given. So we can take this height and we determine its range. So the range of the height is going to be, because it has been recorded to the nearest centimeter, then the absolute error in the recording of this height is going to be 1 divided by 2. When we take 1 and divide by 2, we get 0 0.5. This is the absolute error centimeters in the recording of the height of this cone. That means now for us, for us uh, to obtain the range, then we should take 12 and we add and subtract 0 0.5. This will take us to a range of either 11.5 or the way to 12.5 centimeters. So that is the range of the height of this particular cone. Now the radius of the same cone, which has also been recorded to the nearest centimeter, means that the absolute error in this recording is also 0 0.5. That means... The accuracy of this radius is within 6.5 and 7.5 centimeters. Now this means that uh, this is the minimum height, the minimum radius, the maximum height, the maximum radius, and the working height and radius are 12 and 7 respectively. This means we can get maximum volume volume maximum which is going to be given by a third pi the maximum radius squared times the maximum height 12.5 this is going to be let me compute when I take a third I multiply by 22 out of 7. I multiply Lovely. by 7.5 squared. Then I multiply by 12.5. This is going to give me 736. 0.61 cubic centimeters. We can go to the minimum volume. The minimum volume whereby we need a third pi the minimum radius 6.5 squared times the minimum height 11.5 this is going to be let me compute this a third pi r squared times h this is going to be 5 109.01 cubic centimeters. We can also calculate something else which we call which we call um, the working volume. The working volume will be a third pi r7 squared times the height of 12. We use the values exactly the way they were recorded. So this is a third times 22 over 7 times 7 squared times 12. This is going to be 612, 616, sorry. 616 cubic centimeters. 
So we have maximum, minimum, and working volumes. We have to get what we call absolute error. Absolute error is usually given by volume maximum minus volume minimum divided by 2. Therefore, 736.61 minus 509.01 out of 2. When I compute this, I'm going to have 736.61 minus 509.01 then I divide by 2 I'm going to have 113.8 that is the absolute error there is something else called relative error which is usually given by relative error is given by the absolute error out of actual volume out of the actual volume so this is going to take us to 113.8 out of 616 when i divide by 616 i'm going to get 0 0.1847 that is to four significant figures. And finally, there is what you call percentage error, which is usually given by relative error times 100. Therefore, I just need the figure there, 0 0.1847 by 100. This is going to give me 18.47. Percent. So that is how we get the percentage error in the volume of such a cone.